Welcome to a Holo Chronicles short here. I will be joined today with a buddy of mine that you may re remember from, I don't know, a couple shows that we've done with him before. His name is Paul, and we have a very interesting yet brief topic that we'd like to go over today. And here he is, my buddy Paul. Hey, Paul. Uh, so for those that don't know my friend Paul here, he is the graded loose, well, he's the vintage figure king, graded and loose, uh, as, as that's what he is in my phone book, graded and loose figure king. That's what it says. When he <laughs> um, and uh, Paul made me aware of something a month or two ago uh, that... I am finding very fascinating in how my searches on eBay have changed uh, and, and how the specificity in the loose figure world and then therefore the graded figure world is now changing with a very popular figure, uh, Boba Fett. So, Paul, tell the people what you shared with me not that long ago that you found out about the Taiwan Boba Fett. So the Taiwan Boba Fett, it is, uh, been very popular in the star Wars community lately that, uh, and discovered more common. I think there's been some avid collectors have known for a long time, but it's just kind of exploded in the last maybe six months is that the Taiwan, Boba Fett exclusively came with a V5 blaster unique to only Taiwan Fett's. So what that means moving forward is that if you want an authentic Taiwan Boba Fett, I guess we, we'd consider that a variant, right, Paul? Yeah. Um, so the, the, the coloring and the paint is just slightly different on, on the Taiwan version. But now the blaster is also slightly different. And you can look up on the Imperial Gunnery. They have, um, they have. in fact, let me, uh, let me pull this up here. Let me share my screen. And here's what it says. The V5 Imperial Blaster has very sharp details and is much more squared off than other versions. It can also have a small circle at the top of the magazine, although examples have turned up without this. The Imperial Gunnery can verify that the V5 blaster has been issued in Taiwan packaging. Um, and then they give two different kind of colors that they have seen. The dark gray black version um, is the most common of the two, but neither are super common. Is that, is that what you're finding out to be true? I know you're trying to find as many as you can. So the sprue or the tree that these weapons were originally broken from, there would be a blaster on each side. And one on the, so let's say, for example, the left side would all have that little dot on the clip. Mm -hmm. And then the right side, none of them would. So it's like 50, 50, 50. So there's not really more value for the one with the dot versus not. Okay. But that's where the dot comes from, is what you're yep. saying. It was mm -hmm. just the mold. Okay, I got you. Um, so, w Paul, what are these blasters going for? First of all, how much is uh, in good shape? What's a Taiwan Boba Fett going for these days? Oh, so in good shape, I'd say you're going to be 100 plus. If it's mint, if it looks mint, I think people will pay upwards of 150 um, and then the V5 these days has been selling right around 100. Um, they were going for a little bit more a couple months ago, like 130 was what they were averaging. And recently they've kind of come down a little bit. That's so we're talking like last 17 prices for a Taiwan uh, Imperial Blaster. Yep. That's that. See, now that that was new to me when you told me that. I was like, man. I, I never I never would have known, and I have a baggie full of uh, Imperial blasters that I went through, and you know probably about twenty five of them or so, and none of them were the uh, V five version. But uh, so I've been looking to get one too, just because I have a nice Taiwan Boba. But 
I don't have the V5 blaster. So, so you're telling me that I'm going to spend anywhere from 90 to 120 bucks trying to find this blaster. Most likely. Yeah. If you're just buying one advertised as a V5, that's going to, that's going to be what you're looking at. So, um, I know I just read what the Imperial gunnery had to say about it and I'm going to post a picture that you sent me and, uh, if you wouldn't mind being just a little bit more clear about the difference between uh, a, a commonly mistaken for version four blaster and a version five Taiwan blaster. Yeah. So you've got the V4 pictured above. Um, I, I think the most unique thing or the, the quickest thing to look for is the, the sharp angles. And so on the front of the blaster, you've got the squared off, edge and so that is in common with the v4 they both kind of have the squared off tip so that's the starting point you want to look for that squared off and not rounded on the front of the blaster okay and then from there to eliminate the v4 you're going to want to look at the angle of the handle it's okay. much it's angled and then uh there's a sharp edge where the handle transitions onto the blaster it's more like a step Okay, I think I've got a better picture to show for that. Yep. Okay, so the circled one is the uh, V5. And you can see that right above the, the handle, that square piece that attaches the, the scope is a little bigger. That's yeah, and, it's, and that, that's, that piece, yes, yeah, it is a little bigger, that square. And then there's some other difference. The, the grip pattern is much bigger on the V5. You can see there, it's nice to have it blown up. Yeah. More like di bigger diamond pattern. And then on the very back of the gun, too, you can see like the butt. Um, it's very flat on the bottom, whereas mm -hmm. on the V4, it kind of rounds up. They're yeah. all like that. They're all going to be flat and it angles down on the top, but keeps it flat on, on the bottom. Okay. Man, well, that's good to know, man. Yeah, That's so as you train nice. your eyes, you'll find on eBay, once you get really good, you'll see somebody that didn't post good pictures of a blaster that's with a hammerhead or something, and yeah. that's where you can that's where you can oftentimes score one for 20 bucks. That uh, that sounds like a good collector tip there, Paul. Um, okay, so for a for a, a mint like I want to send it in to maybe get graded Oh, well, that, that reminds me, too. You mentioned something about AFA maybe not accepting Taiwan Bobas without the V5 now. Um, I have a graded Taiwan Boba that doesn't have the V5 with it. And you're saying that that might no longer be the case? They may not be doing that anymore? Well, so I was getting ready to send in a couple, and I've seen tons of them graded with the V. Even in the new case, I've seen them with the V4. But then I saw somebody on Facebook post a refusal report stating that they sent in the incorrect blaster and that it, the figure needed a V5. So then I reached out to AFA and Marcy responded and told me that uh, due to the, the recent found knowledge that Taiwan FETs only came with the V5, that they would be phasing out any other blasters. And so because the V4 is similar They've still continued. Well, at least they were back six months ago. But according to her, they're phasing that out and only the V5 will be acceptable. So I didn't take a chance. I just sent all mine in with V5s. Wait, you said all of yours? How many did you send in? <laughs> uh, I, I got two back and I have one more coming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's why you're the graded master. If you're <laughs> on a first name basis with the people... You know, I just called up Marcy, and she just told me, and and uh, she said, "Yeah, Paul, uh, you know, we're not doing that anymore." Okay, all right. So I'm learning a whole lot. Uh, thank you, Paul. This has been eye-opening for me, and I hope that uh, the people that watch this uh, share that information around so that they don't, you know, inadvertently send something in that's going to get kicked right back to them. They're going to have to pay money for something that didn't go through. That would be unfortunate. So. Um, Thank you so much for sharing that with us and uh, happy hunting in your V5 pursuits. You, <laughs> you looking for more still? Uh, I think I've got all my Taiwan Fest now have one. 
I think I have one extra because I'm always looking for clean fets. So who yes, knows? Maybe that one's got your name on it. Yeah, maybe we can work something out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, again, thanks again, and uh, thanks for watching this Holo Chronicles short with our buddy Paul. Go play with your toys. <laughs>